All right, so woke up to an icy wonderland this morning, and uh, the family wanted me to cook some breakfast, so uh, I fired up my frying pan and I got the frozen blueberry ego waffles out and buttered both sides, and I cook them you know uh, a little on the crispy side for my daughter because uh, she likes her uh, Eggo waffles cooked that way <laughs> uh, like I say she's young and well she's <laughs> she's in her teens that is young though <laughs> and uh, she uh, prefers them with a little crispiness to them uh, with the butter flavor cooked into them so that's how I prepare them for her so uh, that's what I was doing uh, this morning with that so <sighs> while I was doing that I was uh, fixing my son some uh, he's also autistic he's in his uh, mid to late 20s um, he's more on a severe spectrum where she's moderate and more uh, vocal and stuff than he is but uh, I fixed him some of those uh, frozen pizzas like at the uh, grocery stores that you get uh, <clears throat> that's what he wanted this morning and uh, that took care of them so <clears throat> we did survive the night thank god thank god we did with all of our power intact <clears throat> and after that uh, I decided to uh, cook some breakfast gravy uh, sawmill gravy is what we call it down here it's white gravy and uh, I was cooking that for the wife and myself and uh, while that was going on I had uh, biscuits in the air fryer just the uh, frozen biscuits that you buy but uh, they uh, have a really good flavor that gravy turned out very good it was thick and uh, just perfect perfect for a cold day perfect meal for a cold day uh, and uh, once I got that gravy done, uh, we uh, and the biscuits. Once I got the gravy and the biscuits done, uh, I put everything on the table and uh, called the wife in, you know, to uh, eat with me and. Uh, we sat down and we had uh, breakfast together. Also warmed up some of that uh, uh, pre-cooked turkey sausage uh, made by Jimmy Dean. And uh, we just sat down and uh, <laughs> like I said, thank God we still got our power and just sat down and enjoyed ourselves uh, for some uh, really good uh, biscuits and gravy and uh, sausage uh, it was <laughs> quite enjoyable have to be careful <laughs> when we're having winter weather because uh, really all you want to do is uh, sit down and eat <laughs> uh, that's my daughter in the background uh, walk, walking around eating her uh, Eggo waffles that I fixed her while uh, we're eating our breakfast Getting her to sit down is a chore. That kid's got more energy than she knows what to do with. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, we just uh, we're just roughing it. <laughs> we're just roughing it. It's so uh, it's so horrible. But. Uh, yeah, uh, trapped inside. What else can you do but eat? So you get it. So I got to be real careful to uh, not overdo it and not interrupt my intermittent fasting schedule. All right, so 
this is what we're dealing with this morning. That is snow, but mostly sleet. Looks like snow, and there might be some snow mixed in there with it, but uh, that is all sleet. And right now, it is freezing rain and snow mix. We have not lost power yet, but uh, it is coming. We're not used to this kind of weather here in the south, but uh, this is what we're dealing with today and into the night and all the way into Monday, I'm sure. Um, it is nasty cold. The wind is blowing at 30 miles an hour. They said they could have we could have gusts up to 50 to 60 miles per hour in the middle of all of this. Very, very fine snowfall. So I gotta get in here and uh, cook up my taco casserole before my power goes out. Wish me luck on getting it done. <laughs> Oh man, I don't want to waste no money on food, that's for sure, but uh, I want to get it cooked before the power goes out so we'll have it to eat. Alright, y'all stay tuned for that. Alright, so <laughs> after I went out there, I went back in the house and I started preparing my uh, taco casserole. And uh, I was a uh, I had ground turkey, so that's what I used for the meat. Uh, I prefer ground turkey over ground beef, uh, just because it cuts down on the grease and the heartburn. That's the only reason why. And I used that cheesy taco seasoning mix uh, for the meat because uh, it, it's really good and it's a different flavor. And I also put a little meat tenderizer in there, and I boiled that in. Uh, some water uh, to you know really you know cook the, or get the flavors you know into the meat and I, I feel like that's the best way uh, everybody may not be agree but that's how I do it kind of it's kind of how you do chili anyway so taco meats more like a chili uh, so uh, that's how I uh, do my chili you know I put a little water in there and uh, whatever I use to season it with so then it's time to prepare my uh, beans for the bottom of my casserole dish and uh, I uh, got those, opened those, put them in a bowl and uh, I mix uh, sour cream in there with them. That really makes the bean flavor uh, a lot better uh, and it also uh, takes away some of the thickness of the bean as well. You want to make sure you get the can juice from the bean don't let that spill out on the counter like I did I had a mess and I had to wipe it up but uh, you want to put a good fair amount of sour cream and I had some left over uh, and I also use some for uh, the uh, cream cheese portion of the uh, dish so uh, I bought an <laughs> extra large tub just so I can uh, have enough for both uh, so I got out the second tub, you know, as I would get, you always got to drain that little bit of water off of sour cream, right? Especially on the cheaper brands. But, uh, I put that in there and, uh, I mixed all of that up together, uh, really well. And, uh, as you can see, it's, it's, uh, it's really thick, so you really got to work with it, uh, but uh, once the sour cream starts incorporating in there real well, the uh, beans and the sour cream become a lot easier to steer. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the mixture uh, is quite thick and you just have to work with it. And uh, you can put that in the microwave to uh, actually help with the uh, loosening up of the beans with the bean juice and everything. kind of makes things looser and it's still plenty thick enough um 
but uh, that's what I did. And then it was time for our uh, cream cheese topping to go on top of the casserole. So I set two packs of that cream cheese out to uh, get room temperature because <laughs> it's also thick and uh, not the funnest stuff to try to steer together. Uh, and then once you add the sour cream to that also it loosens it up to where it's not quite as thick and makes it easier to work with uh, so to speak and then I put the original regular flavor taco seasoning in that uh, just because uh, you know, I put the cheesy in the other so you'd have two different flavors you know kinda adds character to the dish in my opinion uh, and uh, I put that in on top of the cream cheese and then I put this sour cream uh, on top of that uh, just to uh, make it uh, softer easier to steer without that uh, the powder from that uh, taco seasoning just going everywhere and uh, as you can see I am all over the place in the kitchen not really prepared uh, but uh, uh, here we go here we go finally finally we're adding the sour cream get it together boy <laughs> get it together uh, the audience is waiting well <laughs> yeah yeah as you can see that works out really well you just uh, put that uh, sour cream which is softer on top of that powder so uh, when you go into when you go to start stirring the chunks it will uh, be a lot easier to incorporate into the mixture having the having that cream cheese softened up actually really helps as well uh, I guess you could heat the cream cheese but I like it to go on thick on the casserole but yeah you can it'll get its thickness back once you refrigerate it a little bit so and my casserole dish has a lid to it so uh, that works out really well so I stir all that together and uh, as you can see it's like really thick you really gotta you know press your spoon into the cheese and uh, press the powder into the cheese and, and the sour cream into the cheese to get it loosened up. See all that powder? You gotta really pay attention to that and get it stirred up well. Because if you don't, you'll get nasty uh, taste of powder in there. And then uh, there's my casserole dish and uh, rinsed it out and uh, drying it off and we are preparing to uh, layer the casserole and uh, again here I am all over the place unprepared <laughs> well, it made for an interesting topic fun video huh <laughs> most people don't show you all the struggles that they're going through in the kitchen when they're preparing a recipe <laughs> but I ain't got no problem with it I ain't got no shame Okay, so I'm draining the excess water off of the meat because you want the meat to go down into the bottom of the pan pretty dry. And you don't want it scorching hot either because, uh, well, I guess it really doesn't matter if you're putting it on top of the beans. That's what, I, well, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, as you can see, I had a, a hiccup for a minute. I was about to put the meat in first. That would have been a bad decision. <laughs> Then I'd add, put it back in that pan and uh, layer the beans down first. But uh, <laughs> here we go. Finally, finally, we're uh, getting our head together, getting it right. And uh, that's the beans and the sour cream going out first. Uh, they just come out of the microwave. I warmed them up so they'd be more easily spreadable. And. Uh, when you're making this casserole dish, you can admit anything that you don't like. If you're not into refried beans, you can make it with the meat and cheese. You can add lettuce, tomato to it. And I was going to add lettuce to this uh, casserole, but uh, the grocery store didn't have any lettuce. All of the 
health food and the keto people had done come and bought up every bag of lettuce they had. And there wasn't even no heads of lettuce in the grocery store. And I didn't have time to run around and look for it. So, uh, so I didn't uh, get any. So we're not going to have lettuce with this uh, particular meal. But, uh, yeah, as you see there, I had to get a taste of that beans and sour cream. That's <laughs> so good. I can eat just that with uh, with some taco shells or some scoops or something like that. Now, finally, finally, we get to add our meat mixture to the uh, to the uh, casserole. Uh, my brain's not thinking. I was up late last night worried about the uh, weather. I was up. Uh, all the way till about uh, four thirty in the morning before I finally finally dozed off, fell asleep, hoping we wouldn't lose power. Uh, being on this diet, you know, this uh, intermittent fasting, I get energy. So sometimes through the night, I wake up earlier than usual or stay up later than usual. But I never feel exhausted or tired. Okay, so. Now, finally, I'm getting around to adding the meat mixture on there, and uh, you want to be careful if there's any uh, juice left in the pan not to get that all in there. Um, and, uh, yeah, just, yeah, you don't want no extra mushiness in your uh, casserole. Uh, <clears throat> But like I say, you know, even if you do get a little on there, it's fine. Uh, you can refrigerate it or whatever, and it'll uh, help uh, thicken it back up or whatever. But uh, I just don't like to get any in mine. Uh, and uh, this was quite a lot. This is uh, a family-sized pack of ground turkey meat. A lot of uh, a lot of the meat mixture for the. Uh, call it taco casserole but you can uh, actually make burritos with it or uh, use it to make a taco salad you got everything right there together uh, so it kind of makes it easy you know to uh, put it on anything you know Mexican style and uh, last but not least uh, we got our sour cream mixture that we mixed up with the uh, taco seasoning in there and the cream cheese and uh, you want to kind of dollop it on there before you spread it because the meat sticks to it and it's kind of a thicker mixture it'll roll on itself if you're not careful so you got to kind of smush it down and see how I'm just smushing it down there so the meat don't roll up when it does roll up you can just kind of push it back down with your spoon but you can't go uh, all crazy on it. And the best way I found to do it is just to, uh, you know, just like I'm doing in the video here, dolloping it on there. And you can uh, do it like I'm doing it from one end to the other of it. Um, or you could take and uh, put dollops of it in the, uh, all over the place you know and then kind of you know when you got it all on there you know just kind of mix it together um, kind of like I, what I'm doing right here right now I decided to uh, make make it a little easier by putting it all over the place scoops of it everywhere <laughs> I, I'm telling you I worked my tail off this morning between uh, breakfast and uh, right into uh, this lunch which I have not ate any of this yet it is in the refrigerator cooling I actually like it cold first time I ever ate this uh, a friend of mine and his wife had made it uh, for me uh, for my birthday and uh, we just kind of ate it cold with uh, chips and it's really good that way to be honest with you the beans and the everything so that's why I kind of made this dish in case the power goes out it's something that we can just uh break out you know and uh i got some burrito shells and some uh, scoop shells to you know dip dip down in there 
some of those uh, bowl shapes. And uh, 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 here I'm just uh, putting shredded cheese all over the top of it. But you could, like I say, I, this is where you put your cheese down first, and then if you had uh, lettuce and tomato and salsa, this is where you'd want to add that also. But uh, I'm gonna stop at the cheese because uh, I like thick, chunky salsa on mine. And if I was gonna put it on there, I'd put the lettuce and the tomato and that thick and chunky salsa right there with the cheese like I'm doing now. And uh, from that point, I would, uh, you know, put, put the salsa on there uh, with the lettuce and the tomato. But my wife, she likes the uh, she likes the taco sauce, the really thin stuff. She doesn't like the uh, thick stuff as well. So we don't agree on that. So I don't put it on there. We just kind of individually, when we get our uh, food on a plate, we uh, get what we like. And uh, <laughs> so that is how my day is going so far. All right, so here's a view out of my back window, and I don't know if it's picking it up, but uh, all of the freezing rain changed to snow, and it was coming down a lot thicker than this while ago, but we still got some fine snow flurries going on out there, so it looks like we caught a break. Uh, all this was supposed to have been just... Uh, ice storm which uh, is really bad for our uh, trees and power lines which they did get a good coating of ice and stuff but not nothing as bad as uh, they were calling for and if you can see some of them trees are kind of bent over but not as bad as I've seen in the past so we caught a break we got lucky with that uh, and uh, we got a good layer of snow on top of all that sleet and ice that fell earlier so hopefully <laughs> we'll keep power and uh, we can keep recording but uh, that's, uh, that's the weather update uh, in about 30 minutes I'll get me some of my taco casserole and uh, we'll eat some and we'll call it a day alright so there is my taco casserole. I got it spread over some shelves. I got me a burrito made right there out of it. I do wish I had some lettuce and tomato on there, but I couldn't find any lettuce. There's plenty of tomato and chunks in the salsa, so that'll work just fine. Well, it's been uh, quite an adventure the last 24 hours <laughs> we had snow we had some good junk food we were trapped in the house with like them biscuits and gravy this morning with them sausage patties <laughs> that was amazing you got to see me make something finally and if it's something I can make it something anybody can make and uh, we got this amazing, amazing supper that came from that. That is so good, y'all. Oh, uh, that uh, taco seasoning that I used in the meat with the cheesy taco seasoning. If you never tried it, it's a game changer. It's it's a uh, taco flavor, but it's not overpowering. Uh, and uh, you get some more of that taco flavor in the cream cheese mixture that's in it as well. So plenty of flavor. It is 4.05 in the afternoon. This big old plate of 
heaven <laughs> is uh, my last meal for today. We'll do a weigh-in tomorrow. God help us. It's been quite the week. Now I expect mm, that burrito. Oh man, that burrito. The flavor of it just hit me. That is really good. I got it stuffed with that uh, casserole. I will have to uh, get me some chopped onions for the recipe. Because that is better than a burrito supreme at Taco Bell. Way better. My I don't even know what I was going to say for the flavor here, man. Oh, it's been quite the week. Uh, wife was off. Uh, I ate more at restaurants with her than I normally would. If I was by myself, I uh, I wouldn't have gotten desserts and things and such. <laughs> and uh, being snowed in today, uh, I really uh, worked my butt off in the kitchen. <laughs> I feel like the biscuits and gravy that I ate this morning uh, <laughs> were some needed calories to get through that because uh, I worked tough. I'm making that for them, those biscuits and gravy and that. Putting this together. But we made it through. I still got power. They're saying we might get one more round of snow now. So. I will be stuck in the house tomorrow also, but I will have plenty of this taco stuff left. <laughs> and I got more biscuits and gravy. If I need to make those, I will. Plus, we've got a whole bunch of other uh, frozen junk food in the freezer that I can eat, like little pizzas and some lasagna and... hot pockets and that type of thing mm -mm. Mm. you mix that sour cream and them beans I ain't never seen nobody else do that in their recipe it might be out there it's just something I started doing without seeing anything it's a game changer <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this meal. This is already a long enough video, and I will see you tomorrow.